Illicit financial flows are the mechanisms by which money earned illegally is transferred in and out of an economy. They are the results from a host of crimes, in particular corruption, illegal markets and tax evasion. Illicit financial flows are a problem all over the world. What is the impact on the Western Balkans? Each year, millions of euros worth of illicit financial flows are being recorded in the Western Balkans, despite significant government efforts to prevent this type of crime. This discourages the public and private sector from investing in essential infrastructure. And it deprives the listed economy of resources needed for sustainable development, like investment in health, schools, social assistance, and public security. Dirty money also erodes the functioning of criminal justice systems and weakens state institutions. So why is this happening? There are at least three main reasons. The first is organized crime, which generates hundreds of millions of euros in illicit proceeds annually, particularly through trafficking drugs along the Balkan route into Western Europe. The Western Balkans are also a transit route for many types of illegal trade, from the smuggling of migrants and guns to tobacco products. The profits are laundered into the formal economy. The second main source is corruption. Exacerbated by large informal economies, corruption in business, politics and even civil society causes the loss of millions of euros per year, for example through overcharging on infrastructure projects, selling assets cheaply or channeling money to political favorites. The third main source of illicit financial flows in the Western Balkans is from money laundering through the financial sector. According to different estimates, illicit proceeds worth 2 to 5% of annual GDP are laundered into the local economies through construction, real estate, tourism and gambling. That's equivalent to between 1.8 and 4.6 billion euros per year in the region. Significant resources are already being invested to prevent these flows and to protect the economies of the Western Balkans. Governments in the region are investing in legal frameworks and institutions to prevent these crimes, but more needs to be done. In the short term, there are three key steps that countries of the Western Balkans can take to more effectively tackle illicit financial flows. First, they can raise awareness and improve the collection of quality data on IFFs through regular national risk assessments and independent media reporting. Second, they can select a number of key regional priorities across the Western Balkans, such as reducing tax evasion, exposing corruption, and ensuring that there is an integrated response to IFFs right across the region. And third, the Western Balkans must adhere to the same regulations and legal frameworks and ensure compliance with international standards. These steps should increase the risks of moving money illicitly, and this should help stem the lifeblood of crime and corruption, and would be a significant step towards more equality, fairness and opportunity in the region.